Science 5 Quarter 3 Week 5 to Week 6 Milk Base Let's learn about Series and Parallel Circuit Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about series and parallel circuit. For most essential learning competencies, determine the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit. In the previous lesson, you have learned that electrical circuit has four parts, a source, light, bulb, wires, and switch. You also learned that in an open circuit, Electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. While in a closed circuit, the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. This time, you will learn about the effects of changing the number of components in a circuit. Have you observed that in a series of Christmas lights, once one bulb is busted, the entire series of lights will not light up. Compare it with lights at home. Does it follow the same situation? For instance, when a bulb in a room is busted, will the bulbs in other parts of the house do not light up? Christmas lights and light bulbs in your house have different kinds of circuits. One is a series circuit, and the other one is a parallel circuit. Look at the illustrations carefully. Bulbs that are connected one after the other in one chain is an example of series circuit. In a series circuit, electric current flows through a single path. So when one bulb is loosened or busted, all other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. The loosened or busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway, so electricity cannot flow through. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of the different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. A break in one pathway does not make all the lights go out because electricity can still flow through the other pathways. What kind of circuit do you have at home? If you turn off one bulb, what would happen if you use a series circuit in your home? All the other bulbs will be turned off because in a series circuit, there is only one path of electricity. Thus, the most appropriate circuits for homes is the parallel circuit. In such a circuit, each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity that even if you turn off one of them, the others will still function. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly differentiate series and parallel circuits. And now, let us proceed to the following activities. Learning Task 1 Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents, guardians, or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of this activity is Build a Circuit. The materials that you are going to use are 1 8 illustration board, electric tape, aluminum foil or pieces of electric wires, and two batteries. 
Here are the procedures. Take note, handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. For setup A, first, design a series circuit similar to the illustration on the previous page. Lay the circuit out on the illustration board. Second, try removing one of the bulbs. Did the other bulb still light up? For setup B, first, design a parallel circuit similar to the illustration on the previous page. Lay the circuit out on the illustration board. And second, try removing one of the bulbs. Did the other bulb still light up? And now answer the following questions. Number one, what may happen if you add another bulb to both of your setups? Why? Number two, what may happen if the filament of one bulb in your first setup melts? Why? And number three, what may happen if the filament of one bulb in your second setup melts? And why? For learning task two, answer the following questions. Number one, give instances when a parallel circuit is used and when a series circuit is used. Correct! In a parallel circuit, each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity that even if you turn off one of them, the others will still function. In a series circuit, all the other bulbs will be turned off because there is only one path of electricity. Number 2. Give the advantages and disadvantages in using parallel or series circuit. In a parallel circuit, the advantages are First, if one of the bulbs is burnt, the other bulbs continues to shine. Next, parallel cells last longer. And each bulb receives the same voltage that is supplied by the electric source. In a parallel circuit, the disadvantages are The voltage does not increase or decrease if cells of the same type are connected in parallel. And the electric current in the circuit is the same even though more cells are connected in parallel. Now, in a series circuit, the advantages are Current in all parts of the circuit is the same. This causes the bulbs to light up with the same brightness. The current in the circuit increases if more cells are connected. And all circuit components are controlled by one switch. The disadvantages are There is only one path for the flow of electric current. If a bulb or lamp is burned, other bulbs will not light up. Cells in series do not last long. And if more bulbs are added, the resistance in the circuit increases, causing the electric current that flows to decrease. For learning task 3, draw a heart eyes emoji inside the box above each picture if it is an example of series circuit, and wow emoji if it is an example of parallel circuit. First, what do you think of this picture? Is it a series or a parallel circuit? Very good! This picture is a parallel circuit. So the answer is, wow, emoji. Next, what do you think of this picture? Is it a series or a parallel circuit? Very good! This is a parallel circuit, so the drawing is Wow Emoji. Third picture. What do you think of this? Is it a series or a parallel circuit? Very good! This is a series circuit, so the drawing is Heart Eye Emoji. Fourth picture. What do you think of this picture? Is it a series or a parallel circuit? Very good! The correct answer is Heart Eye Emoji. This is a series circuit. 
And last picture, what do you think of this? Is it a series or a parallel? Very good! The correct answer is... Heart Eye Emoji. This is a series circuit. For learning task 4, draw an example of series and parallel circuit. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. For example, draw a series circuit and a parallel circuit. For the rubric, 5 points means the drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. 4 points means the drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. 3 points means the drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. 2 points means the drawing does not represent the concepts learned. And 1 point means the drawing lacks detail. For learning task 5, write a brief essay with at least 5 sentences on why it is important to carefully follow some safety precautions when using electricity. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. For a simulation, series circuit, electric current flows through a single pathway. Parallel circuit, a break in one pathway does not make all lights go out. And a route in which an electrical current can flow around. And for learning task 6, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Number 1. Marianne noticed that a set of 10 bulbs in her Christmas tree lights did not light up when it was turned on. What could be a probable cause of this? A. Small wires are used. B. There are bulbs in the strand. C. Small bulbs are used. D. There is one defective bulb in the set. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. There is one defective bulb in the set. Number 2. What will happen to the other bulbs in a series connection when one bulb is removed? The other bulbs will A. Light B. Not light C. Have dim light D. Have bright light What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B. Not light Number 3 What will happen to the other bulbs in a parallel connection when one bulb is removed? A. Few bulbs will light B. The other bulbs will still light. C. A few bulbs will no longer light. D. The other bulbs will no longer light. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. The other bulbs will still light. Number 4. Which of the following measures can prevent fire caused by electricity? A. Have a regular inspection of electrical cords. B. Avoid walking under low dangling wires. C. Touch a switch with dry hands. D. Do not leave socket empty. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Have a regular inspection of electrical cords. And number 5. In a series connection, why do remaining bulbs not light up when one bulb is taken out of its holder? A. The other bulbs will not light. B. The other bulbs were burnt out. C. The path of electric current was renewed. D. The path of electric current became incomplete. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. The path of electric current became incomplete. Remember, in a series circuit, electric current flows through a single path. So when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. A parallel circuit 
has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of the different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!